Hi, welcome back to another review on the Mighty Max series. Tonight I'm going to review another super heavyweight set. This one, the Dragon Island. The set is a part island, part warship, and is commanded by the franchise's main antagonist, Skullmaster. The set is well known for being very big and sophisticated, and it has lights which you can turn on. Yeah, it's pretty technical. Anyway, let's check it out. Officially called Mighty Max Storms Dragon Island. Now you can see that this is a part island, part battleship in the shape of a dragon's head. Well, in terms of its size, it's bigger than the Man-Eater and the Nautilus put together. <laughs> yeah, so you can say the Dragon Island is the king of the ocean. It has a very ragged green surface and is armed with two missile launchers that shoot dragon rockets. And next to the gas hose, there's a switch to activate the lights. Yeah, you can see the lights glow. Oh yeah, the set is battery powered. Now to open it, pull up the top hatch and pull up the escape capsule and pull up the escape pod. Pull up the back hatch. Spread the teeth. And pull up the nose. So now you can see that this set is very weird and sophisticated. This set has a lot of characters. Returning is Max and his team, Virgil and Norman. And they have a dinghy which they can ride. And the trio are fighting against Skullmaster and his Zillard army, which are a mutant race of part man, part lizard. Skullmaster looks mad as always. Here he is armed with a sword. There is the Zillard overlord. As you can see, he is part man, part reptile. The big red spine probably indicates his high position. And he carries a tribal stick. There is the Zillard warrior. He stands on two legs, and he is armed with a ray gun. Now it's called Dragon Island, so there has to be a dragon, and we got one. He is called the Necrosaur, the biggest character in the set. He is a giant red dragon, and his wings you can move, and he's very well designed. Very good details on the scales. Size wise, he's about five times the size of the Doom Dragon. He is also armed with an atomic bomb which he can dump on the enemies. Yep, the Necrosaur is a force to be reckoned with. Then there is the Lagoon Monster. It's like a giant purple sea slug with a blue tongue or arm. Either way, the Lagoon Monster packs a powerful blow. Now for the actual set. Well, let's just say it, it has a lot. One thing you notice is that it's infested with a lot of reptiles, lizards, snakes, etc, etc. The ship's front has the lighting beacon. On the side, we have a bunch of corpses. They most likely fell victim to the lagoon monster. And on the other side, we have a treasure chest and a sticker displaying more human remains. In the center, we got the operations room. Yeah, this is pretty much the source of Dragon Island's power. It's the classic hideous mix of fantasy and science fiction. Over here is the sacrificial rock of destiny. There is the two red lights. And in the middle is a rotating platform for Skullmaster. It's operated by a Zillard working in the level below. Yeah, he looks pretty seasick. <laughs> And on the upper part is the Lord of Eternal Fire. He is the main power source of Dragon Island. His background is a mystery, but one thing that is mentioned is that he indulges in human sacrifices, and he wants Max to be his next victim. Now right above him we see more sci-fi tech stuff, and at the very top is the Arrow of Death escape pod. Let's just say it's an escape pod with a super strong ramming bolt 
that destroys anything it impales itself into. And as you can see, Max can ride it. Yeah, this set sure has a lot to it. And its official comic story is an action-packed extravaganza. Max confronts Skullmaster in the battle to end them all. Victory or revenge. With the Zillards on his side and Dragon Island under his control, Skullmaster is using the sacred power source, Dragonfire, to rebuild the Crystal of Souls and enslave the cosmos. So the story starts with Max and his team riding their raft, ready to attack Dragon Island. But they are unaware of the Lagoon Monster that is right behind them. The Lagoon Monster knocks them off the raft, and the Zillas intercept them. But somehow, Virgil manages to escape and hide in the bushes. So Max and Norman are tied onto the Rock of Destiny, ready to be fried by the Necrosaur. The Lord of Eternal Fire demands the sacrifice of the Mighty One. And Skullmaster is pleased with the situation. Looks like Barbecue City at Dragon Island for Max and Norman. Looks like Virgil chickened out too. Or did he? Virgil arrives in time to save Maxi. They hijack the missile launchers and destroy the light beacons, trashing the operations center. And Norman beats the crap out of the Zillards. Yeah, that's a little bit of payback. Skullmaster is truly pissed off. And he rides the Necrosaur, ready to roast Virgil and Norman. But out of the blue, Max comes out with the Arrow of Death escape pod, and smashes it into the Necrosaur, annihilating it. The Necrosaur, Skullmaster, and Max fall into the sea. There is a bit of a moment of silence. Norman and Virgil believe Max is gone. But Max rises to the surface, holding Skullmaster's emblem. Yep, Max and his team have emerged victorious. Also, the animated show had an episode based on the set, called Blood of the Dragon. It aired in 1994. Now, closing wise. Yeah, this one's a bit of a puzzle. <laughs> Place the dinghy on the sticker with the skulls. Stand Virgil by the treasure chest. Place the lagoon monster on the other side. In the little cave. Place the Zillard Overlord in the front. Close the hatch. Stand Skullmaster on the rotator platform. Stand Max on the rotator platform. Stand Norman in the pit next to the Rock of Destiny. Stand the Zillard Warrior on the other side. And stick the Necrosaur on the back hatch. Make sure to store it precisely. With the wings pointing out. Shut the jaws. Close the back. And close the top. Yeah. Yeah, the Dragon Island is one of the big highlights of the franchise. A sophisticated one indeed. And after 26 years, the lights still work. Yeah, that's 90s power for you. Back when things were built to last. See you in the next one.